admin LT integration with Angular 9. Hello friends, my name is Chandkash Varyani and welcome to Coding Friday. So this is a tutorial at the screen. You have the idea now that what I'm going to cover. Yes, I'm going to cover that will integrate this admin LT in our Angular application. Now, this is not something which I'm going to do, do the first time. I already recorded a video uh, a year ago, I guess. Uh, so this is this one, admin LT with uh, Angular Visual with example. But the problem is that now uh, I recorded a year ago and we have the latest version available, latest version of the admin LT, which is the admin LT 3 and uh, latest version of the Angular, which is Angular 9. So I got a response, uh, I got actually good response from you guys. And most of the comments says that we need uh, to have this in the latest version. So that's why I decided to recreate the video. Now, as I did in the last video, or as I do in my every video, that everything will be done practically here in the in the application. But still, if you want to go for the other option, that is, if you need a directly code, uh, then you can always copy the code from the GitHub location at the location I'll be sharing in the in the YouTube description, and you can easily find it. But I would highly recommend that you follow the steps because this will add some value to your experience how this is you know actually being configured. So if you want to modify something, you can do the same. Now that's that's the admin LT3 and it gives you multiple dashboards it as it always gives so you can see dashboard one two three so at first decide which dashboard do you want to integrate so let's suppose I want to integrate this dashboard v2 and the same functionality what is happening here I need to have in my Angular application so what are the steps so there are a number of steps which you should follow but there are uh, many steps that's why I noted down in the notepad file and uh, the steps are here so the first step is that you have to install the latest angular cli version now angular cli version latest one this is the command npm install uh, hyphen z for the globally and angular cli open the command prompt for me i'm already working in a project which is based on the angular 9 so i already have this uh, so if i can show you with this ng hyphen hyphen uh, version so that you can match once you install that command your version should be the same what i have 9.1.1 if you uh, don't get with the latest one maybe you can provide the version as well in the command now once you have installed this um, angular cli now you are good to install the angular application so i'm going to open the uh, again, command prompt but this time from the location where i want to create the project so ng new admin lte uh, 3 with angular 9 now press enter now it will create our uh, angle okay it is asking some questions would you like to add angular routing yes maybe we can add and which is to see the improvement of this angular cli console uh, earlier we used to do some uh, run uh, manually some command to have this as or scss now it is asking uh, from us so it is it is improved a lot so which version you want less or uh, scss so let's choose this sas maybe and press the command one problem or one thing with these uh, type of videos when i record is that when i run any command it takes time uh, it takes time so what i'm going to do i'll pause the video and i'll resume once the uh, command gets executed okay uh, <clears throat> so it has installed and it took around 11 minutes and successfully installed it now let's come back to here open your folder location and open a command prompt and code dot just to open your application in the visual studio code so uh, visual studio code you should be having if you are working in an angular project <clears throat> or any other editor should be fine so again if you're familiar with the angular application these uh, this is this is the same uh, structure which we expect node modules src we have the app xyz things now uh, at first what i'm going to do i'm going to open a terminal and run a command to run this application in the browser and to run this application in the browser we have a command called ng serve hyphen hyphen open just to directly open the application and the port number maybe we can use six zero 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 and press enter let me pause once again okay so it is up and running here uh, just one thing it is running to four one double zero port and uh, six triple zero was not working somehow so this is the application this is the by default application given by the angular cli you can see now it is a lot improved that it is showing the commands in terms of uh, whatever you want so let's press inspect element and see do we have any error in the console and why i'm checking this 
because when we will integrate uh, our admin LD, so uh, in case if we have any error by mistake, then we should not blame Angular CLI for this. So it is it is working fine. Now let's open our uh, Notepad file to see the what our next step. So we have installed the Angular CLI. We have created the new application and run the uh, npm install command to install all the node modules. Then what you need to install, you need to install the admin LT and the version is 3.0. And for that, I'll make use of this uh, project once again, open the command prompt and press the command npm install admin LT version three and save. So again, I have to pause the video. It will take again two or three minutes maybe. I'll resume after that. So it is still working. It is taking longer than even what I, what I expected. Okay, I think we have <clears throat> oh, still, still, still copying, but it should not take now much time. Yeah. No, no, still. Okay. We have now admin LT. Congratulations. So just to check this, go to your uh, project, open your uh, package.json file, package.json file, and check do we have the admin LT with me? Uh, we have uh, admin LT, the same version what I installed, the 3.1, and let's check for the Angular version. It should be your latest 9.1. So great, now you have configured the Angular 9 application at your local, you have configured uh, admin LT to use it. Now uh, let's open your notepad file to see what is the next step. So verify, we have verified, open admin LTE, okay. Now see this uh, admin LTE and choose dashboard, which dashboard you want to uh, implement. So let's suppose I'm going for the dashboard two. Go to the inspect element. Rather close this and go to this view page source. And uh, what you need to do, the simplest thing is that while rendering these things, it needs some CSS and the JS file. Now the same CSS and JS file you also need. So let's suppose it is it has a font or some over overly scroll bar CSS and similarly at the bottom it should have the JS jQuery bootstrap jQuery overlay demo and penalty XYZ. So these are the things which you need. Now don't worry about uh, how I'll get these uh, things you already have in your project. So while installing, running uh, the command of uh, admin LT install, you already install those files which is required. As example, it is saying plugins font font awesome. So go to your admin LT plugins and then into the font awesome. And after that, it says the CSS. And you should have the all dot main. You have the all dot main. Similarly, if you follow the same path, you will uh, get the uh, files now. Really important thing uh, for you guys that while providing the path of these files, you have to be very careful. For example, you might, you know, when you will search the files, you might find this in the multiple locations, maybe in the disk folder, maybe in the plugin folder, maybe in the build folder, but carefully follow the same path which is being shown here, which is displayed here. The reason behind this because even though the files may be same, uh, the name should be may be same, but the content might be different. And because of that, you might see uh, some different behavior. Some of the files uh, you will see not working. That's why I'm focusing on keep the same path. Copy the file from the same path. Don't actually copy, just provide the path, correct path. Now open your Angular CLI, Angular version where you define your CSS and JS. So here's a place, a style and a script, you have to provide the path. Uh, one common mistake, or most of times in hurry, I do. I paste it here but don't paste it here this is the test one and uh, this is the upper case which is for the project upper one which is for the project here you have to copy so the first file is this one so you can copy from this a uh, node module till the node module and wide the path and just revert the sign and Come back here and what is the name of your file my file name is all dot min provide the css now press ctrl s now you are done similarly you have to do for the each for the each file now when you will be working with a different uh, uh, dashboards let's suppose i am working for let's suppose you choose to work for a dashboard one open the dashboard one go to your view page source and this time you have to copy these files so you would see that uh, as per the dashboard, the file will vary. So we are working with the for the dashboard two. 
so you copy all of them now just to save the time because it took uh, me uh, it took for me 15 minutes while copying the file so what i have done i already have the files with me i should be having the files with me which is angular 3 or uh, angular 2 we are using angular 2 1 and uh, angular 2 1 is here so copy this as it is and uh, paste it here style and the script folder we have this as here and uh, we have the files here this is all min and this is the, this was the js file so you are you are done with this now let's see what my next step is my next step is uh, open admin lt we are done choose a dashboard done angular uh, yes we have updated one and let's open the index.html now a uh, important thing which we might forget most of the time is this copy the class file although we will copy the entire app component but it is important that you copy this class file and open your index.html and paste it here in the body file just a second and uh, come here and class and paste it here so maybe i can get rid of this uh oh sorry about that and remove this one as well so class you have copied the class now just give me a second okay uh, sorry about this because my battery was critically low so i had to go for the charger okay so uh, after this uh, where we were uh, we uh, have copied the class file uh, to this uh, body one and after that uh, you have to open your app component which is your app component.html now let's get rid of the uh, by default html which we have because we don't need this one keep the <coughs> router out outlet as it is and add some space oh, okay now uh, what you want you have to copy this div be carefully while copying the data once again and yeah just a second just okay now scroll till put a one and copy this entire one paste it here just about this outer outer outlet now in generally where you don't copy uh, the entire code in the app dot component html uh, what you do I'll, I'll go into this but first let me copy this and verify what we are left with okay we have uh, chosen the dashboard we have updated angular json we have updated the index one we have updated the app component copy images okay one more thing uh the last step actually this is a jpg files so the location of the files is not correct right now and uh, don't worry again for the files you should be having those files in your project let's search where it is open this one and go for the project admin lte and inside in the node module and go for the admin lte inside the admin lte try to search for your image you will find somewhere in here click here so that we can go to the location of that image here we are just copy all those image and uh, paste it to your project location like i keep in the src asset folders and i'm going to paste it here so this is going to be my location for the images now what i'm going to do I'm, there are multiple places where i have to replace so i'm going to use the control h and this assets there are 27 places i'm going to press this so we are done so we have replaced the images file as well or else okay nothing so now let's run our application but before i run this application i want to check whether everything is working fine so i'll press ctrl c and close the server and first i will do the ng build so ng build will give us the 100 percent guarantee that everything is compiled successfully because we have made change in the angular uh, json file and a few of the things so let it build maybe i can pause okay so it is building it is about to build that's why i just resumed or not Come on. So the commands takes a lot of time. Even though it's a fresh template, it is taking time. But even in real production uh, or in real application, it takes larger time to even build the application successfully. Uh, 
it has built the application now let's open the application ng sir hyphen open and localhost sorry port let's provide a port for one uh, four two double zero this time and enter this uh, i have to pause one more time okay so it is again about to open combined successfully so it is running now if everything is correct we should be able to see our application and we are seeing our application with admin lt integration so congratulations first of all let's now check the functionality as well before i say congratulate yeah it is working so all the js also configured correctly all the css correctly configured and we have the data with us yeah perfect so this is how you can you know achieve the same requirement what i was uh, telling you uh, what a difference it would make when you do in your application so consider this is the menu item right this is something uh, the header one or uh, this is again the header one and uh, let's consider this as a different components so generally you will not paste everything in the app we can now close this in the app dot component right in the app component is uh, gonna be treated something uh, like as a master page so you will keep just headers into that app component and this will be pasted into the different components maybe you will be creating the different components for this goal completion you will be creating a different component for the sales pen and inside that app component you will uh, uh, render those components i'm not going in detail for that because the purpose of this video is just to integrate the admin lt and uh, there we are and as i told you that if you want to have the uh, want to integrate the different versions op open the uh, any of the version and go to your uh, in space source and they have to copy these files in the same structure the way i have copied and you should be able to see the same results so that's all for the today and that's all for uh, this video and uh, if you guys have any comment or any feedback kindly let me know if you really like the video or it is it is helpful for you uh, then share your feedback with me that is really important for me because i was getting uh, many comments to this video based on the uh, like we we like you guys uh, require or needed the angular 9 app, angular 9 application and the admin 3 that's why i created so similarly if you want to have a some add-on to any of the and any of the part you can kindly let me know i'll work on this so thank you for watching this video thank you for uh, being at coding friday see you next